The US Air Force has big plans. They want at least 100 of them, and if all goes well in testing, they might even get up to 145, for a price tag of $630 million each. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the B-21 Raider. It stands as a remarkable achievement in engineering and manufacturing, and it's going to change the competition for the best bomber in the world. It was shown to the world for the first time on December 2, 2022, and it had its first flight on Friday, November 10. It took off from the Air Force's Plant 42 in Palmdale, California. This was the first time the world saw the sixth-generation aircraft fly. Let's go back to November 23, 1988. That's when the United States Air Force showed off the B-2 stealth bomber for the first time, marking a monumental shift in aircraft design and capability. The B-2's sleek design, together with its minimal radar return, represented a huge change from older airplanes like the Nighthawk. Thanks to new computer technology and radar-absorbing materials, the B-2 boasted superior stealth capabilities even compared to the F-117. Its tailless design contributed to a radar cross-section smaller than that of the more agile F-22, making it an aircraft tailored for the most dangerous missions. Its job was clear fly deep into what was then the Soviet Union and destroy nuclear missile sites and control centers before they could be a threat to the United States and its friends. Now, almost 40 years later, the B-2 is giving its place to the B-21 Raider. The B-21 is intended to be a bomber that can be flown by a human or remotely, in addition to serving as a part of a larger system for a number of uses including long-range strikes, intelligence collection, surveillance, espionage, and electronic warfare. But how did we get to this point? Let's briefly recap the incredible journey of the B-21. By the way, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to never miss out on the latest uploads and updates. In the middle of 2009, the US government faced a big problem with its bomber fleet. It was using the essential 50-year-old B-52 for ground operations, the B-1 Lancer for quick strikes, and the B-2 Spirit for stealth missions. The B-2 Spirit was supposed to take over the roles of both the B-1 and the B-52, but because each B-2 cost $2 billion, this led to a shortfall in the planned fleet. Faced with this bomber gap, they started exploring the creation of a cost-effective, technologically contemporary bomber to cover the upcoming gap. Getting the money for this new project was tough. To avoid running out of bombers and to build a new set of 100 aircraft, they needed to act fast and find a substantial financial injection. In 2012, the Obama administration asked for $3.7 billion for this new generation bomber project. However, they ran into political problems. Finally, in August 2013, the project got the money it needed. But it was the escalating influence of China that finally forced budgetary action. Anticipating China's advancements in stealth technology, which could potentially surpass the capabilities of the B-2 bomber by 2020, the U.S. prioritized maintaining its edge in stealth capabilities. Just to give an idea, the Pentagon's 2022 defense strategy points out that China is the biggest challenge and competitor for the United States in the long run, even more so than Russia. It highlights China's actions in the South China Sea, its behaviors towards Taiwan, and its attempts to reshape the international order to its advantage. Specifically, it underlines China's military modernization efforts, its development of advanced weapon systems like hypersonic missiles and stealth fighter. Russia's aggression, particularly in Ukraine, remains a concern, but China's potential to alter the global order stands out as the principal challenge. Now, with the money in place, attention turned to choosing a company to lead the project. In 2014, there was intense competition between two competing offers to build this bomber. Boeing and Lockheed Martin teamed up, using Boeing's experience in building bombers and Lockheed Martin's skills in making aircraft hard to detect. On the other side was Northrop Grumman, drawing on its successful history with the B-2 Spirit bomber. Cost-effectiveness eventually led to Northrop Grumman winning the contract. To keep the B-21's price down, Northrop Grumman partnered with 400 suppliers across 40 states, including seven major, well-known companies. This teamwork resulted in the creation of the impressive B-21 Raider bomber, costing less than $630 million each, which is 68% cheaper than the B-2. It's the most affordable new bomber for the U.S. in many years, and the U.S. Air Force intends to purchase more than 100 of them. As mentioned before, the serious challenge from China means the United States needs a big number of highly advanced aircraft. 
China's strategy is to make it costly for the U.S. to operate in key regions. Older U.S. bombers like the B-52 and the B-1 Lancer are vulnerable, and there aren't enough B-2s to deter China. Thus, the U.S. Air Force seeks a significant quantity of B-21s to serve as a credible deterrent. The B-21 is expected to begin operations by 2027. Once operational, it will become a member of the American Bomber Squad, eventually replacing the B-1 Lancer and B-2 Spirit. With improved armaments and a longer range, this signals the start of a new era in force projection, altering the landscape of military capabilities worldwide. According to Kathy Warden, the chief executive of Northrop Grumman Corp., the B-21 will be the most advanced and lethal bomber in the world, and it will ensure that the U.S. maintains its air superiority and nuclear deterrence for decades to come. The B-21 might look like the B-2, but it is a whole different beast inside, she said. The details about the B-21 are top secret. It's a secret weapon and plans to stay that way. Now you might be wondering why the U.S. military would even reveal this new aircraft to the world. Have you heard of the New START Treaty? It's a deal the United States and Russia signed to cut down and limit their big nuclear weapons. It requires that if either country develops a new nuclear-capable bomber, they must announce it. This rule promotes transparency not just between the two nations, but also with the public, balancing national security and public knowledge. Additionally, unveiling new military technology showcases the U.S.'s dedication to defense innovation. Even though the specifics are secret, we can figure out some of the aircrafts or we can be extrapolated them based on what the Air Force has asked for over the years. Let's start mentioning the B-21 Raider's superior long-range capabilities that enable it to go great distances without refueling or depending on forward bases. As a result, even in circumstances where it is necessary to get past enemy air defenses, the United States can increase its influence and react quickly to new threats. By operating from secure locations like isolated islands or the mainland United States, the bomber could reduce its exposure to enemy strikes and guarantee the crew's and aircraft's safety. If we look at the B-2, we see that, although the B-2 poses a formidable challenge to any country's air defenses, it has a significant weakness – its need for extensive logistical support for deep missions. Its range without refueling is just over 6,000 nautical miles, reduced with heavy armament. This range is adequate for missions from Alaska into Soviet territory, but limits its effectiveness against China in the South Pacific. To defend Taiwan, the U.S. might use B-2s from Australia or the continental U.S., avoiding bases within range of Chinese missiles, similar to past long-range missions conducted against Iraq. The B-2's effectiveness is compromised by its need for in-air refueling, making the tankers a visible target due to their large fleet and long-range detection by adversaries like China. This reliance allows for the possible prediction of the B-2's flight path through tanker movements. The upcoming B-21 seeks to mitigate this issue, reportedly capable of global reach without external support, potentially allowing for operations from secure U.S. bases outside enemy missile range, thus maintaining stealth by avoiding the need for visible tanker assistance. It is anticipated that the B-21 will achieve this remarkable capability through the implementation of advanced engines, offering significantly better efficiency than its predecessor. To make stealth bombers harder to detect and protect them from enemy weapons that detect heat, these aircrafts have a special design where the air intakes are on the top side, not the bottom like most planes. Also, the covers around the engines are carefully designed to avoid bouncing radar signals back to the enemy. A key detail is that the air intakes on the B-21 are smaller than those on the B-2, showing the strong effort to make the plane less visible on radar. But Making the plane stealthy means it gets less air, which can make it less efficient. This is especially important because the aircraft is expected to fly over 60,000 feet high, which is 10,000 feet higher than the B-2. Flying at this higher altitude makes the B-21 harder to spot and harder for missiles to hit. It also flies more efficiently because there's less air resistance up high, which lets it go further on the same amount of fuel. However, the higher you go, the less oxygen there is for combustion typically requiring larger air intakes. How the B-21 deals with this issue remains undisclosed. As said, the stealth specifics are highly confidential, and the U.S. is expected to keep the B-21's stealth technology under wraps. However, nearly 40 years of advancements in materials and computing have significantly influenced the design of the new bomber. 
These technological improvements have greatly minimized its visibility to radar, heat detection, noise, and electromagnetic detection. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin has shown strong confidence in the B-21's stealth abilities, stating that even the most advanced air defense systems would find it difficult to threaten the raider. The B-21 represents the forefront of stealth aircraft design, drawing on the invaluable stealth insights gained from the B-2. It features advanced technology such as fiber mat engine covers, meticulously engineered skin panels, and serrated edges. Its design goes beyond the mere flying wing shape. Like the B-2, the B-21 likely uses a paint that reduces reflection, helping it stay hidden during the day. Additionally, its underbelly is painted dark, a strategic choice for its operational altitude above 60,000 feet. This dark coloration helps it merge with the background of the sky at high altitudes, rendering it virtually invisible. The B-21 Raider is being outfitted with cutting-edge avionics designed to work together perfectly, ensuring it outperforms previous models. These sophisticated systems aim to boost the bomber's stealth, navigation, targeting, and communication, keeping the B-21 ahead in contemporary conflicts. For navigation and targeting, the B-21 is expected to use the latest digital technologies, possibly including radar that can follow the terrain and GPS for accurate movement and targeting. While the exact details are secret, it's likely that the B-21 will feature a variety of advanced radar systems, such as active electronically scanned array radar, to aid in its stealth and reconnaissance tasks. The B-21 is poised to be equipped with a state-of-the-art electro-optical targeting system and a distributed aperture system, both of which are designed to significantly improve its ability to understand its surroundings and engage with targets effectively. Coupled with sophisticated electronic warfare capabilities, the B-21 is well prepared to navigate and counter threats in complex environments. For communication on the battlefield, the B-21 is expected to employ secure and reliable communication systems, including high-frequency satellite links and Link-16 technology, ensuring it stays connected with other forces and command centers efficiently. The bomber will also feature an advanced defense management system that vigilantly monitors and evaluates potential threats around the clock. This system's effectiveness is further enhanced by the integration of sensor data, often referred to as sensor fusion, which enables swift responses to emerging dangers. Moreover, the B-21 Raider is anticipated to include an onboard testing system that oversees the condition and functionality of its vast array of electronic components and systems. This proactive monitoring ensures the aircraft remains safe and ready for mission-critical operations at all times. Like its predecessors, the B-21 Raider is designed to carry a significant payload, potentially nearing 30,000 pounds of weapons. This includes a versatile arsenal of both nuclear weapons, such as the B-61 nuclear gravity bomb and long-range standoff nuclear cruise missiles, and conventional weaponry. Among its conventional capabilities, the B-21 is expected to be able to deploy Lockheed Martin's long-range anti-ship missile, enhancing its role in maritime strike missions. Additionally, the bomber is suited to carry and launch contemporary precision-guided munitions, including Boeing's GPS-guided Joint Direct Attack Munition, designed for high-accuracy engagement of targets over great distances. With its stealth capabilities and versatile payload, the B-21 is exceptionally well-suited for penetrating enemy defenses and engaging a variety of targets, including surface combatant ships, in stealth mode. The B-21 is intended to be a key component of the Pentagon's efforts to modernize all three legs of its nuclear triad, which consists of silo-launched nuclear ballistic missiles, submarine-launched warheads, and bomber-delivered weapons. The nuclear triad is the backbone of the U.S. nuclear deterrent strategy, and it needs to be updated and upgraded to meet the challenges posed by China's rapid military modernization. Additionally, it's worth noting that the B-21 Raider is a major step forward from the B-2 Spirit, especially in terms of durability and ease of maintenance. The Department of Defense has set a goal for the B-21 to be the easiest to maintain bomber ever, learning from the maintenance struggles faced by previous stealth aircraft. Traditional stealth coatings, which require extensive and expensive upkeep, are being rethought thanks to advancements in material technology for the B-21. The B-21 is anticipated to leverage these technological improvements, possibly easing the workload required to keep its stealth features in top condition. Lastly, the B-21 Raider's adaptability stands out as a crucial asset, drawing on insights from historical challenges in military procurement. 
Since the early 2000s, the U.S. military has been grappling with the issue of its weapon systems quickly becoming outdated due to the rapid pace of technological advancement. This problem is particularly acute for systems like aircraft, which can take years, if not decades, to develop and deploy, risking their obsolescence before they even enter service. This not only diminishes their utility, but also represents a strategic risk. In response, the U.S. has adopted an approach of using open architecture in the design of its future combat systems. This strategy allows for the easy update or replacement of components, ensuring these systems can keep pace with technological advances. The B-21 embodies this principle of open architecture, making it more adaptable to future tech upgrades than its predecessor, the B-2 Spirit. This design foresight ensures that the B-21 can stay ahead of the curve, effectively sidestepping the issue of obsolescence that has affected earlier stealth bomber models. Before wrapping up the video, we also want to explain the significance behind the B-21 Raider's name. It's not just a name. It carries a lot of history and meaning. The name honors the aircraft's crucial role in the 21st century warfare and pays tribute to the brave Doolittle Raiders who carried out the famous Tokyo Raid during World War II. Following the attack on Pearl Harbor, the U.S. launched a daring surprise attack on Japan to boost American morale. This involved modifying B-25 bombers for takeoff from aircraft carriers, a risky move that required removing much of their defense capabilities. Though the raid did minimal physical damage to Japan, it was a huge morale booster for the United States and showed that Japan could be attacked. The B-21 Raider, named after this bold historical mission, symbolizes a powerful deterrent capable of reaching any target around the world. What do you believe the future holds for bomber technology? Please, let us know what you think by leaving a comment in the section below.